Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial for SailFlow 2.0 and add-on of Blender for the design of sails and today we are going to talk about how to uh, put the profile in the sail, the, the depth and the curvature of the sail that you need uh, in order to make the sail you want. So we have open Blender here, Blender has already installed the add-on as I explained in the installation video then what I have to do now is to press shift A and go to add a sail and uh, okay the sail now is already the one I wanted but let's suppose it isn't like that and I can always recall the shape that I have put in my example uh, by this uh, utility here where I can save different profile and different shapes you can always recall so this is the example sale that you've seen in previous video let's see how we want how we can actually um, make a shape to this sale the sale at the moment is flat and you can see it if i rotate it's completely flat so i need to put a profile into it the way to do it is that i select the tab sale flow if you don't see the tab sale flow you simply have to press n like Newton and then you get this panel where you have um, the options if you click in sail flow the option of sail flow let me enable the screencast so maybe it's more obvious what I'm doing okay so <coughs> I click I select the sail so you see this border orange around it I am in object mode which is okay I click profile generator and then I have here this small panel the small panel uh, it's the one with the all option for a profile if i click in curve you see i have naka 4 naka 4 advanced profile on a routine and bezier or mesh so these are the possibility you have to design a sale let's start with the naka 4. okay so naka 4 it's a uh, okay it's one of the uh, typical um wing profile it's it's an old wing profile but is is very suited for for sales and you have two parameter here we need one is a max camber and the other is a camber position which correspond to where the maximum depth of the sail is how much it is with respect to the width of the sail in that specific point and um, and the position is the percentage of the width of the sail in that point so i can put the max camber to be let's say 15 percent at the moment is put at 10 percent of the sail let's put it at 30 percent of the sail and you see immediately the the curvature has moved backwards because it's now at 30 percent in any uh, position of the sail it is at 30 percent of the width of the sail in that specific point and that is uh, basically the way to to introduce this um, this profile I can change the, this or this parameter let's say I make an outrageous number like 40% and you see okay you see what it does but it's only to show what the actual the tool actually is doing so let's go back to a reasonable number which is 15% uh, <coughs> one way which is uh, which give you a better view on how the say look like is that to go here on the upper corner um, click this uh, this um, icon and this arrow down where you can select matcap and then once you select matcap you can select here material and here's a, a series of materials you can use which are uh, translucent or lucid and that helps uh, in uh, in seeing the the actual shape of the of the sail if you right click and you, you click shade smooth you have a better let's say better looking and you can have a view and make your mind whether you like it or not okay so that is quite an handy feature so let's go back okay still my sail is selected let's go back to profile generator and go to a different option the other curve I can use is NACA 4 Advanced. NACA 4 Advanced is the same as NACA 4 basically. The only difference is that 
from a height of in percentage of the sale, which is in this case 50%, but is established by this uh, parameter here. From that moment on, the camber and the position of the maximum camber, the maximum and the position of it um, changes. You see how it is now. The lower part is driven by the max camber and camber position, and the upper part, which is 50% or more, is driven by the second max camber and the second camber position. Okay, this is when you want to have uh, maybe a flatter sail on the top and a, a fatter sail on the bottom, or vice versa. The only disadvantage is that at the moment the transition is linear, so this parameter or the influence of the camber, max, uh, camber position goes linearly down to the percentage of, tra of transition and then it goes uh, again uh, linearly up. So it, it's, not, uh, it's not ideal, <coughs> but it's, I did this for simplicity. Maybe in the future I can add more, uh, a more intelligent interpolation to it. But let's say that I want something which is slightly um, uh, less fat on the top and maybe more forward okay so that's what i have so okay the sails still look okay but at the top is a bit flatter than it is at the bottom okay uh, i can uh, maybe have it the first 30 percent fat something like that of course this transition is a bit brutal at the moment um Okay, but at least at the end, when you make the sale, it will not be that uh, that uh, sudden as a transition because, uh, of course, the cloth make everything smooth. Uh, the other way to design, um, to, to put a profile is to use a Bezier curve. Okay, now, a Bezier curve is a mathematical uh, thing to design a smooth curve. And I have made one before this uh, this tutorial which is here which i called profile test okay uh, but to make it simpler let me delete that and show you how to create one so you have to press shift a and then in the option you have curve and then you go to bezier by default this bezier curve is designed flat on the x y plane which in the plane where the red and green uh, lines are lying so i can see it very well when i am on the top if you don't like it like that if you like to see it instead <coughs> which is a, in in this uh, slanted view then with the curve selected you press r which i uh, mean rotation then you say X around the X axis and then you say 90 degree and now it is rotated and you can see it from here. I, that's a view I prefer. <coughs> you can press here 2D uh, when this tab is enabled to avoid, um, to make it completely flat. Okay, so this is a, a profile that can be used to inject design into the sail, the shape into the sail. If I press tab now and I go to edit mode, I have two bars here. These two bars control the shape of the say, the shape of the bezier. So I select the first one and I press R as rotate and you see how the the shape changes with with the rotation. I can do the same on the second one and I press R for rotate and you see how this changes. I can press S for size and then I can change the bar size and this is basically the influence of the bar onto the onto the curve. Uh, let's suppose that this is a curve that I like. By default the tool call it Bezier curve but I want to change it to something more meaningful like profile 1 and uh, the tool looks for curve which are called profile something so it's important that you rename it as profile let's select again the sail which is still the old uh, naka for advanced a shape and click profile generator the usual panel appears here and under curve i said busier i select busier or mesh Automatically, the tools are selected profile one because it's the only Bezier curve there is. In case you have more Bezier curves, you can click here and select the one you want.
okay? At the moment, the, the sale is still flat because you still need to to apply the strength, how much influence this has. I put 0 0.1, which is normally okay, and here you have it. You see the, the, the shape is that one. Of course, it has adapted the shape to the real width of the sail and take into account the influence and I can see how it looks like and decide whether I like it or not. Mm, maybe I want a more flat entrance, I don't know. So I do select, I press tab, I go in edit mode, I can now edit. I can rotate a bit maybe and then I size it. Uh, let me rotate it again. And this I rotate just to make it, okay. I don't like it at all. <coughs> but okay, it's just an example. Let's see how it looks like. Terrible, but I just won't make the example for it. So let me press and select the sale again. Profile generator. I should go back to Bezero Mesh, profile one, and he has already applied it. So here it is. This is the new profile. Like it or not, which we don't. But this is uh, the profile. Okay. So the last uh, option that we have here, the curve, which is profile on routine, is instead a, um, an option where you can write your uh, routine in Python to, to design the sale. So you can put inside any formula you want. And that is going to be used to calculate all the, all the height of the point to create the sale. Um, another feature you might be interested in um, is a bit special. Uh, you go to preference and you enable a, an add-on which is by default in um, in Blender, which is called Measure It. Okay, by default, I'm not sure if it's enabled or not, but you enable, and so you have this feature available. <coughs> Once you've done that, you select your sale. You go to uh, edit mode with a tab you see now you have all this mesh uh, visible to you there are vertexes uh, there are edges and faces this is how uh, surface is is uh, represented by blender and for instance i want to know the height of this specific vertex in uh, while i'm modifying the shape so what i do <coughs> I go to the tab view here. I will see that there is here, for instance, a, a, I don't know how to call it, but another tab called measure it. And I want to see the Z since I have selected this vertex. And if I press the Z, which means the height, it will, and I have to say that I want to see it. It will, sorry, mesh the bug has to be removed. Okay, it will show to me. And basically it tells me that at the moment this particular point is is 20 centimeter depth. That is the depth of my sail in that point. I can select another one and do the same. So here is 18. And maybe I do the same here. And, and that one is 12. So let's go back to this representation and go to sail flow again and I press profile generator at the moment is still using the the bezier but let, let's go back to Naka for instance and you see me that is this number I've changed so <coughs> when I decrease the, the, the can will increase the camber to 20 percent that they all increase so and now I have uh, also the possibility to to know exactly what is the height of my sail in that point? I measure it allow to do a number of, uh, of interesting things. Uh, one, uh, for instance, is uh, I can um, select everything with A, pressing the key A, I go to view and I say that I want to see the area of it. And uh, somewhere it appears, which is here. 
if I like to change the color of it, I think uh, it should be this one. Uh, if I want to change the color of it, so just a second, I should be able to do it. I know I only change the surface, okay. Mm, but pressing this uh, setting, I can I can increase um, the size. And so in this way, I have the square meter of my sail, for instance, which is uh, maybe an interesting thing for you guys. Okay, that's basically everything um, I have to say about uh, creating a profile in, in Sailflow. I hope you enjoy and stay tuned for other tutorials.